going on everybody? This is Mike over at Valley Vapors. I'm doing this video from home because it requires usage of my computer. I'm going to be doing video capture of my computer screen to break down what I'm going to be explaining today. What I'm going to be explaining today is battery safety. And not battery safety in the way that you're used to hearing it. What I'm going to be breaking down is how to know if your build is safe for a particular battery. In this case, today, I'm going to be using two of the batteries that I own. I'm going to be using a Sony VTC4, which is rated to 30 amps, and I have an E-Fest, which is rated to 35 amps in here. And I'm going to explain to you how it is possible to say that this Sony is unsafe whenever this E-Fest is. Not saying that this Sony battery is unsafe, simply saying that the build that I want to run with this battery may be an unsafe build. I'm going to break it down with, with a little chart, a little graph. I'm going to break it down with some formulas. I'm trying to keep it very, very simple for you guys, but I'm tired of seeing videos that simply say, well, these are unsafe. They suck. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of that. I want you to know why somebody will say that they're unsafe. And it's very possible, just as it happened to me, this may happen to you, you may realize that, you know what? I've been thinking of this the wrong way the whole time. I have a friend who I've gone over this stuff for a few hours total with. He's broken it down for me. This is what he does. He does vape, but he knows this because of all of his prior training, his education, and what he does now as a profession. He vapes as a hobby, and he's helped me to understand battery safety in a way that I've never seen anybody else say or explain it. And that's what I want to do for you today. I will be crediting him at the end of this video and also in the info below. Just a quick shout out for all the help that he gave me on bringing this video to you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over to the computer and I'm going to break some stuff down for you guys. All right, everybody. Um, this is a very simple document that I've created here that isn't finalized for everybody to download, but it's getting pretty close. This is going to explain everything to you guys and allow you to figure out if your build is safe for your battery. Now, R is going to be resistance. And that's whenever you build, say, a quad coil in something, a 28 gauge wire. Let's just say it's going to be a 0.17. Let's just say it's there. Um, it, it, that's R. So let's write that in here. Say 0.17. Amps is an unknown value. This is what's going to determine if your build is safe for your battery. Volts is a known value as well. This is going to be 3.7 most all of the time. Now, if you have a battery that's instead of 3.7 volts, 4.2. Um, then all you would do is put 4.2 on E for the voltage. This is how much volts that your battery has whenever it's charged. And P is going to be your wattage. This is how many watts you're putting out whenever you're vaping based on all of these other values. So to break it down simply, to figure for I, you're going to follow I equals E divided by R. So for the sake of this, let's just say that we're using the E-Fests from the shop, which are running at 35 amps. That, that's their amperage limit. So what you're going to do is E, which is 3.7, and divide that by R, which is 0.17. You're going to get 21.76. So on I, it's 21.76. Because the value of I, based on your build and your battery, since the value of I is less than 35, you know that your build is safe for your battery. Now, if you want to figure watts, which it's simply if you want to, what you do is P is I multiplied by E. So all you do on your calculator is leave this the way that it is and times 3.7. So you know that you're going to be pumping out about 80.53 watts. 
So that's a really, really quick, simple breakdown of how this works. I am going to be doing another um, set of values just to kind of do it a couple times so you guys can see how it works. So volts is a known, 3.7. So let's say I want to build really low. Let's go 0 0.09. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your calculator. You're going to go 3.7 divided by 0 0.09 and you're going to get 41.1.11. Now because 41.11 is greater than 35, you know that this is not a safe build. You're going to your battery is going to require more amps than it can handle to power that build. Um, this is unsafe. This is what you do not want to do. So as we know, different batteries are going to have different amp limits. Say a VTC4 has 30, but the EFES at the shop have 35. That's going to change what you can build on each battery. Say if I build, you know, say a 0.11, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to write it down, but 3.7 divided by 0.11. I'm running 33.63, so round up 6.3 or 6.7. So I'm running 33.67 amps. Now on my eFest, that is safe, but on my Sony, that is not safe. So if you're using two different types of batteries, then you need to pay attention and build to the battery with the lowest amount of amps. What I am going to do is I'm going to finish this document in a way that is the most user friendly. It's going to be the simplest. And I am going to put a download link in the info on this video. So you can download this, use it. Um, I'm also going to put a couple other links in there that are going to be very, very useful to you. Okay, everybody, I hope I made that as simple as possible. That way it is extremely easy to understand and to do on your own. So what I'm trying to get across to everybody is battery safety goes hand in hand with build safety. If, if, if as you saw, if you only have a 20 amp high drain battery, but you're trying to build something that's going to need 35 amps, that's where you're running into a problem. That's where it becomes extremely unsafe you're going to be causing that battery to attempt to put out way more amps than it is rated to. That's where the problem can happen. That's where venting, that's where, you know, not that it happens very often, it's actually very rare to happen. Maybe a battery will pop. That's where the problem is. You're going to, if you're building so low that that build is going to require 48 amps and your battery is only rated to 35, that's where it's unsafe. So I'm actually thinking less that it's battery safety and more build safety. Everybody worries about, well, these batteries are safe. I can build whatever I want on it. That's untrue based on Ohm's law. It's the other way around. You have to say, okay, I can only build this low for this battery. So say if you're somebody like me who has multiple brands of batteries, I have EFES and I have Sony's, the Sonys that I have are VTC4s. They can only go to 30 amps. So what I need to be doing, because once that battery starts dying, I'm going to throw that EFEST in there. Or the other way around. If I'm vaping, 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 and I have that EFEST, and I throw the Sony in there, that's where my problem is. Say if I have a build that is perfect at 33 amps, that's going to run great with the EFEST. But then whenever I pop the Sony in there, that's where I'm running into a safety issue. I'm forcing that battery to try to pull more than it can handle. So like I said, I'm going to credit my buddy Louie. All of us at the shop, thank you for all of the help that you've given us and all of the info that you've provided for us for this video. We do have little printouts, simple little charts at the shop for you to take home, for you to this, for you to that. Whenever you get a build, whenever you get an Addy, whenever you get a, a new mod, we're going to be throwing those in the, in the bag or in the boxes if you do want them. Anybody that is thinking about jumping into mechanical mods, do not let this deter you. Use this as a tool. This should help you transition a lot easier. Now granted, learning to build and everything like that is, is, is a beast of its own. 
but at least with this info, you know where the safe zones are. You don't want to be that next guy on the news and in the hospital because you tried to pull 120 amps out of a 30 amp battery and it exploded in your hand. Nobody wants to be that person, but without the knowledge, we can all be that person. So from all of us here at Valley Vapors, we hope you learned a lot. We hope that you will use this information and be safe as you can be. Use the correct batteries, build the correct builds based on those batteries. And as always, keep calm and vape on.